The Mystery of Friday Night Our landlady always told us no matter what happens we must not leave the house or our rooms on Friday night. The reason for this rule was never explained but we always obeyed it. If we had an urgent matter we would usually leave during the day or afternoon. If we had to return late at night, the landlady would tell us to stay at her house next door to the boarding house. All the tenants complied with this rule. However, every Friday night around one o'clock in the morning, there were always strange noises coming from the kitchen or the TV room. These noises piqued our curiosity. And one night, I decided to check who was making those sounds. Let me introduce myself. My name is Genta. Today I will tell you about a mysterious incident that happened on a Friday night. But first, let me explain a bit about the boarding house. It consists of eight rooms, but only five are occupied, each with two people so there are ten tenants in total. That night my roommate Rahan suddenly had to return home. He left in the afternoon making it my first night sleeping alone in the room. As usual, I didn't leave my room on Friday night. We all locked our rooms before six in the evening, having prepared food and drinks so we wouldn't need to go out if we got hungry or thirsty. Around one o'clock at night I heard footsteps from the kitchen as usual. But this time something was different. I heard Rehan's voice, laughing and talking, even though he had already gone home. At first I thought I was just hallucinating, but the voice grew clearer. Finally I mustered up the courage to leave my room and head to the kitchen. There, I saw someone who looked like Rehan, washing dishes. I was sure it was him, so I approached and tapped him on the shoulder, saying, Hey, Rehan, what are you doing here? Doing. But when he turned around, I was shocked. It wasn't Rehan. His face was horrifying, with hollow eyes and a torn mouth. I immediately ran back to my room and started praying. After that, I fainted in the kitchen and only regained consciousness three days later. After that incident, all the tenants knew that the landlady's rule about not going out on Friday nights had a reason. That mysterious figure often appeared on Friday nights, though sometimes it would also show up on other nights but never as intensely as on Friday, on 